action. So this is going to be a video <laughs> showing the injections tonight. This will be the last um, Gonal F shot and five units of Lupron. I'm Melissa's husband, by the way. That's my hubby, John. All right. I have already washed my hands. What are you doing? I am using a alcohol pad to clean the Lupron vial. If you've never done this before, make sure it dries, otherwise you get alcohol in the needle and it will really sting. Not that I would know personally, no that I would know personally but she knows. <laughs> Second one, we will sterilize the injection sites. <laughs> yes, now we will inject the substance. <laughs> okay. A little trick. I don't know if they, they'll tell you how to do this or not, but since it's five units, I'm pulling back five units of air and I will inject that air into the vial, thusly. <laughs> and then, ooh, we're getting low here, I'm going to pull back more than five and you'll see the air bubble there at the top of the chamber that will be discharged when I push it back to five for the dose and you get no air bubbles so there's no tapping of the needle all that jazz um. Side. And since we're rotating sites, we have to remember every night which side we injected last. Boom, done. I hope that's the last Lupron of my life. If we get enough eggs, yeah. I didn't even I feel that one either. And this is the really cool one. This is the... It's a brand new pen too, so we're yeah. going to prime it. Ooh, yeah, good point. Pun intended. <laughs> They give you a bunch of extra tips with these. These are the needles. They are a threaded attachment. They give you a bunch of extra ones in case you're doing really small doses. Because gonalef is used for other purposes other than IVF treatments. It's a hormone therapy as well. So, as you can see, it's like a pen. It's got the cap. Just pull the cap off and it's got a numbered dial and what we need to do to prime it is turn it to 37.5 
and I need to attach a needle, a little peel top like you're opening a thing of milk or something. Ooh. I almost forgot an important part. I'll just chuck that one. We want you to use an alcohol swab on the threads, not on the interior, just on the threads. Don't ask me why, but that's what they recommend. So I don't get an infection. Yeah, but it's just weird that they think the threads will be somehow contaminated when it's been covered this whole time. Or whatever. Precautions. Whatever. Okay. Alright, so you just push down, screw it on, try not to cross thread it, pulls off, and this is an interior cap for the needle that pulls off. So hold on to that so you can safely uh, discard the needle afterwards. So I have dialed it to 37.5. All you have to do is pull this back and it gives you one little click because that is the lowest setting on the uh, the dial and the way you know you've got the correct amount is the lowest arrow will be completely visible you'll see the next number is 75 but you can only see a little bit of the arrow which means 37.5 is what we've dialed up <clears throat> and it so, smells like band-aids yeah the that weird medical adhesive smell so to prime it you want to discharge this 37.5 you see a little bit a beating at the top already. I don't know if you can see yep. that. So, I'm going to blast this into the tub. Because <laughs> you don't want this, you don't want Lupron on your toothbrushes or anything. <laughs> okay. Now, some, I saw one video online where it was like a full stream and I think they were just trying to demonstrate to get some of the drug out, but every time we've primed, we've primed these, it's only been a few drops, so don't freak out if not a whole lot comes out, because you don't really want to waste this stuff, because I'm sure a lot of you probably have to pay for this out of pocket, and it's not a good thing to waste. So, we've swabbed the injection site, and this is good to go, so I will dial it up to the dose tonight, which is 75, because this is the last dose. We've been doing 225 right there, mm -hmm. but now it's 75. So pull it back again. That, that was two clicks because two arrows. So 75. And now we're going to do the shot. You'll probably see she's a little bruised from all the previous injections. Boom. And we hold it in for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Boom. All done. Little interior cap back over the needle. grabs onto the thing, unthread it, and now it's safe to discard. Recap. Back in the box, back in the fridge. You know we probably won't need it again, hopefully. <coughs> Not this time anyway. And discard in the sharps. And that is it. Good job, sweetie. High five.